If I can't find anything specific, a lot of times I'll just run some Kimi Pure to help purify the tank. Sometimes I've found uh, heavy metals that have gotten through uh, the RO system or something. Uh, it helps a lot. Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. We are at MACNA 2015. We're in Washington, D.C. I'm in the ORA booth. Of course, ORA is the king of the pack when it comes to the designer clownfish. And we're talking about the black ice, which is now being featured on a t-shirt. You can also get a print. It was uh, designed and uh, the artwork comes from Karen Talbot, who's well known in the hobby. And, and uh, I'm here with Adam with ORA to talk a little bit about the black ice clownfish. How did you arrive at the black ice ultimately? It was a very simple cross, actually, initially. We crossed the established black Ocellaris variety, um, the Darwin Ocellaris, with the snowflake, which we had been breeding for years prior. Um, the combination of the two traits produced a fish that looks a lot like a snowflake, but there are, there's more black on the fish. And then the ones you're showing in the aquarium over here have a lot of black spots on them. So I guess that would be considered the, the highest form of that particular morph? Right. That one is a, a more premium specimen. Uh, we've since refined the line of the black ice and crossed certain black ice back to blacks or back to other black ice and uh, bred for traits that are more desirable. Gotcha. And when you say desirable, sometimes beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I was over there uh, looking at some of the fish a little while ago, and we're, we're showing some video now for the viewers. But um, smaller spots, bigger spots, what is it that you're actually aiming for when you are looking for what you consider to be desirable? Well, unfortunately, what I find desirable, the rest of the hobby may not. So what we have to do is basically offer the full spectrum because as you said beauty is in the eye of the beholder some people prefer the clownfish without any of the spots on the side some people want the biggest most abundant spots that they can get um, everybody wants to have a unique fish so our job is we try to provide the largest variety when it comes to the the appearance of certain designer fish that we raise so like when it comes to the spots, is there one that brings more money than another? Is, is the market kind of dictating that? Well, actually, the, the mar market does dictate it, but also our production capacity. The ones with the larger, more abundant spots are fewer and far between in each batch. So those fish fetch a higher premium. So uh, what's next in the, in the pipeline for ORA? Is there anything you can reveal to us? Um, we're definitely starting to put forth some effort into um, fish that are not in the clownfish mold. Uh, we, we, we're hoping to do some more work with pelagic spawning fish, um, kind of expand um, gobies, um, do a lot more with fish that are good nano fish. Um, uh, there's some exciting stuff in, in the future for sure, um, but at the same time we'll, we'll try to uh, stay uh, current when it comes to all the designer clownfish that our customers have grown to love. So that's the uh, situation uh, here at the ORA booth. Again, this is John with FinCasters. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.